you know, man, I am just broke. And you know, sometimes, I don't know about you, I just wish that, that money would just fall from the sky. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, in our reading for today, a blind man was sitting by the side of the road, and, and as he heard that Jesus was approaching, he cried out, have mercy on me. When the crowd tried to silence him, he cried out even louder, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped, and he healed the man. He didn't let that opportunity pass him by. The man took that opportunity. So how many of you noticed the $100 bills that, that, that are circling me today? How many of you would have, would have stopped what you were doing and just tried to grab them? You see, sometimes in life we can get busy and, and so distracted that we don't take the opportunities that we have right before us to spend time with Jesus, to go to him in prayer, to, to read the Bible. Instead of crying out to him for help, we, we try to do things on our own and we miss the opportunity that we have right before our eyes. You know, while the man was physically blind, sometimes we can come spiritually blind because of what's going on in our lives. In fact, Jesus warns us about this spiritual blindness throughout the Bible, where our hearts become so hardened, causing us to not see clearly. But just as the man opened his heart and received the gift that Jesus was offering him, what happens if we open our hearts to what Jesus is offering us each and every day? Like forgiveness and hope, new life, healing, grace, restoration, peace. Cry out for it, grab a hold of it, and don't let go. Because here's the deal, that's the opportunity we don't want to miss. Hey, Mom, I made it. 